But for your live tonight, which is not a live, it is a premiere. And you can ask questions in the chat, and we will be in there chatting right along with you. <laughs> and you just get to watch us paint. <laughs> so we are in Arkansas at Maria's Lake Resort. Forest Luxury Log Cabins in Eureka Springs, Arkansas. It is so beautiful here. So check that out online. We'll put a link in the description. Sounds good. So if you want to book a weekend or a week with Maria in Arkansas, up in the Ozarks, it's gorgeous up here. We've had a ball. Yes. And it's not over yet. It's only Monday. <laughs> 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 so what we're going to do is individual pours, and I'm going to piece them all together and make one video. And we'll probably do a recap at the end just to say hello again and then goodbye. <laughs> but... Um, We'll have Alan painting, Maria's going to paint, and I'm going to paint, so you'll have three paintings to watch tonight. I'm going to attempt to paint. You're going to do fine. It's been a while. I'm here. You'll do fine. <laughs> so, we will be in chat. If you have questions, ask. Please put them in caps, and we'll be able to answer your questions. Shelly and Brian and Nate will probably be there as well, so you're going to have a lot of attention tonight. <laughs> so, thanks so much for hanging in with us, and enjoy the show. Bye. Okay, we're going to do a 12 by 12 canvas with this gadget again that Monica had given me a couple days ago. Color choices. Nate Stormy Weather. Barrage Posse Gold Rush, Sleeping Beauty Turquoise Shimmer, and last but not least, Copper Penny. And all these paints in these bottles did not have any silicone, so I've added a couple drops, poured the paint in, added a couple drops, stirred them up. This is the treadmill. Spot on, 100% silicone. So, set my cups off to the side for a moment. I'm going to go with the black base. So weird doing it outside the Parage Passy. I don't have my gadget bin. So when I go to tilt this, I'm just going to pour off the last of that black paint as the paints that I add will be moving around on the inside. I'm going to go with the WD-40 silicone spray into the gadget. Not on the painting.
So I'm going to put it in. This has little holes here. Just going to try to center that. Black paint's coming up through the bottom. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually, once I fill this, lift it up and let it release out through those holes. So I'm going to start off with Nate's Stormy Weather. And the gold rush. Sleeping Beauty Turquoise Shimmer. And then the Copper Penny. Put that round in again. Hope everybody's staying safe during this uncertain time. Hopefully it's given you an opportunity to do some things that you don't normally do. Now for me, painting on a Monday afternoon is not a usual thing. special circumstances. fill this little gadget up. I know everybody's thinking, he forgot the gold! But what I want is these last two blues, the stormy weather and the turquoise shimmer to be the last two out of there. Now, let's see what happens when I lift this up. Torch it a little. And we're going to tilt it. Brian thinks I'm a slow tilter. A little comment about my driving speeds too. But that's okay, Brian. Brian's a good guy. He's got my back. A 
we're usually when we're tilting the camera is right above us so I apologize that I'm tilting it away from you to get to see the exact action that's going on Paint back to the center. A little too far. I'm just going to pull a little of that paint again to the edge. I was thinking I would have more paint on the canvas than I actually did. But that's okay. It can be fixed. Take a little of that black over again. other corner. Try not to do what I just did, which was take a wet glove right over your painting too, especially when you're towards the end. Occasionally you have one of those oopsies. Stop right there. I'm touch up my edges. Give it another little torch. Got one of these new torches that doesn't have any paint on it till now. Oopsie. So you'll be watching this on the premiere. We've never done a premiere before. So you'll be able to ask questions while you're watching. I'll be able to give you my input. Christina and Maria will be able to give their inputs. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Something new for us. It's kind of like our traveling road show right now. But this is as far as we're traveling. That was one long drive. And just want to pick it up, let you see it. 
Again, this is a 12 by 12 gadget. Thank you so much again, Monica. We'll see what this looks like a little later. Maybe we'll uh, do a little tour of all the paintings afterwards. But we'll see you. Uh, up next is Christina. See you later. Bye. Hi guys, it's Christina. <laughs> I'm going to be doing a Boilermaker and today we're going to be using the Parage Posse Coral Reef, the Parage Posse Sleeping Beauty Turquoise that Alan had left over, a Parage Posse Gold Rush, and Parage Posse Lemon Lime Shimmer. We're going to layer the shot glass and we're going to kerplunk it in some black base paint and then we'll do a flip cup. So let me get started. So we're going to start, uh, I think I'm going to go with the lemon lime. I did wipe this shot glass out with some WD-40. Can you see my canvas? Mm-hmm. Okay. So hopefully this paint won't stick too bad. Put just a little bit of the turquoise on top of that. Then we're gonna go in, <laughs> it's sticking to me like static. Some gold. I did put a little bit of silicone in these paints because they did not have silicone in them. Some coral reef. I'm gonna go back with this turquoise and finish it up. I'm trying to just get as much paint in there as I can. It does not have to be full to do a Boilermaker. Go back with the lime green, lemon lime. And the rest of the gold. The coral. We won't have to worry about having too much color. This is just a 12 by 12 canvas, so we don't need a ton of color. But I definitely want this lemon lime to show up since we are using black. Okay. So I have my black base here that Alan had left over. We might as well use it. We're going to drop that cup right down in. Kerplunk. All right, now we're going to flip it just like a flip cup. You're going to hear that shot glass hit the canvas. Just give it a minute. These are a great way, if you have just a tiny little bit of paint left over, it's a great way to use it up and actually get a really pretty painting out of it. So when you do a Boilermaker, you can leave the shot glass and just lift it, or you can move it around to fill up more space on your canvas, and that's what I normally do. But I'll let some of this black out to give us a base to float on. I like to wipe the end off of that shot glass. Makes it a little bit easier to hang on to. And I'm just gonna move this around uh, at an angle so the paint can come out. And 
And I like to grab a little bit of the black and let it set for a second. And then we'll let some more out. So I'm going to go ahead and torch because I want to see if I have anything underneath. I've got some cells coming up through here. And we are going to start tilting. I'm going to go in this corner first. So I know most of my color is in the middle. When you're stretching, what you're doing is opening the paint underneath. So when we torch the second time, we should be able to bring up more cells. Always keeping that paint together. Always coming back to the middle. turn this around so that the light reflects on there. That's funny looking. I don't normally sit while I'm painting, so <laughs> I'm not used to this. Okay. more we can get. Or I'd stick my arm in that one. Ooh, that's pretty. Let's let it set 10 minutes and we'll be back. All right, guys. The cells on this one are amazing. You can see that. I'm very happy with the composition of this as well. It almost looks, if you look at it this way, it looks like a bird blowing a trumpet with his wing. It's pretty cool. I'm happy with it. So, this one's a one and done, and guess who's next? Maria. <laughs> Bye, guys. Hi guys, it's Maria. I am gonna be working on an eight by 16 gallery wrapped canvas. It is, I believe, a master's touch canvas. And I'm going to do a flip and drag uh, using all of our Parage Posse paints. And I'm going to be using chestnut bronze and our brand new coral reef. Which one is that coral reef? Yeah, coral reef metallic. And then our Persian Autumn Yellow, which is a to die for color. I love it. And then also our Gold Rush and a touch of black. So I will be right back. I'm going to put a white base down 
and when I return, we'll get started. Hey guys. Okay, so we have sprayed the cup with our WD-40 silicone spray. And I rubbed it in on the sides, that way that the paint does not stick. And we are going to layer this with starting out with black and we do not want very much on the bottom. According to Christina, of course, the size of your pinky. So I've got black and then I'm layering in some gold. Oops, almost dropped my black on the floor. Persian yellow. My chestnut bronze, I think I actually mixed this with copper penny also. And then our coral reef. So about the size of your pinky. Now I'm gonna flip that thing in the middle. And all the paint's releasing. Come on. I'm gonna knock that black on the floor over here. Now I'm gonna poke a hole, release the suction, if I can get the pin down in it. And I'm gonna to attempt to drag this through. I think I just caught a lot of canvas. dip back into my white pull this off. I don't like this area right here so I'm gonna pull this back through try to anyway I haven't painted in a year you guys life happens That's a lot of white right there. Okay, I've added a little bit of color to a little cup here. I'm gonna plop it in the middle because I drug through and went to the canvas. So we're gonna try to fix it. We're getting some green. Try to bring it down toward me a little. Now I'm going to go the other way. I might have to stand up. Let's see. That coral is gorgeous. Come on. I'm going to try to pick up a little bit of color here really quick. Try something. Be a paid try to fix your painting. That's better. Okay. Now we're going to get up and do our airbrush. But I need a moment to set that up. We'll be right back. 
We're gonna torch it really quick. Maybe. There we go. And as Christina says, hold it like a pencil. I'm gonna do my best here, guys. I haven't done this in forever. I can't even get it to move. There we go. Oh, I really wish you guys could see this spot. That is gorgeous. Oh. One more spot. One last torch. Thank you all very much. We'll be right back with you. Hey guys, thank you for joining us tonight. Um, we are going to give you one more shot of the three paintings um, on the drying rack. And you'll get to see how they are um, developing. And hopefully we'll see a few more cells. But it's been wonderful painting with this chick over here and of course the man. our sweet alan he has <laughs> really been there for us and he's helped us throughout this whole ordeal and i appreciate it alan ordeal yes because let me tell you me painting after a year has been an ordeal it's been fun <laughs> but i have enjoyed every minute of it and we're so glad that we could share this with you you know all the way from north carolina to Eureka Springs, Arkansas. So I hope that we get to see you all again soon, next Monday. So just stay tuned for our uh, little paintings that we did tonight and hope you guys enjoyed it. Oh, and also, 
make sure you check out the whole video because I'm going to show you some pictures of Maria's cabins and um, some information how you can come here and stay too. We appreciate you very much. Love you guys. See you on the next one. Bye, Bye. now. Bye now. Thank you.